Dartfish's analyzer tool is useful for teachers, but it's also valuable for students creating resources for exams. First up, here's a simple idea. The student identifies a critical moment in the video. They annotate it with text and drawings. And then the snapshot button is used to save this screen image as a picture file. And that can be inserted in a PowerPoint slide or a Word document. Taking this idea one step further, the pupil or the teacher can add key positions. This video file was shared by the teacher to the students, complete with key positions, which have guidance from the teacher on what is required. Again, these images can be published. either as pictures saved to the computer or printed. A student storyboard might have examples of their progression through the year and comparisons of their performance against the reference performance. And now, the best way they have of making this available to teachers or examiners is to create a media book This packages up all their work in a way that can be shared with non-Dartfish users. A media book like this can be either created as a standalone file or in fact as a web page that can be accessed from the school network, from an intranet or from the internet. Now some examiners accept these and some don't. For those that don't, I can still save my storyboard as a movie. Each scene in the storyboard will form part of the overall movie so I can still make use of my split screen comparison as a video file or I can turn it into a DVD. Having created the video, a very useful feature is the share button. This is because not only will it let me save this onto a CD, but it would also allow me to send this to the school network. And in doing so, I can compress the video down to be more suitable for use on a network. Now, one of the most important reasons that makes Startfish useful for student use is the fact that it also exists as a classroom edition. This includes the analyzer, it doesn't include a lot of the functionality of the full Pro Suite edition, but its main feature is its licensing. Dartfish Classroom isn't licensed to individual computers. This means that you can install Dartfish on as many computers in the entire school as you want. The limitation is the number that can be used at any one time. You buy, well in this example, say 30 licenses. And that means that 30 people can use this simultaneously. When the 31st person tries to log in, they'll get a message saying no more licenses are currently available. But this means that rather than having to buy enough licenses for the entire school, you only have to buy enough licenses for the number of concurrent users. The previous video revealed how Dartfish Classroom Edition makes it easy for students to have access to analysis software. Any teacher not needing to use the live feedback tools will find that the analyzer features of Classroom are almost the same as those of Dartfish Pro Suite. And that's going to open up access to teachers to be able to create these media books. And these can be very powerful educational resources, including not just video, but descriptions and annotations.
In fact, the slideshow part of the media book even allows you to print handouts of key positions. Very useful for subject matter experts wanting to create interactive lesson plans for use by other teachers, or simply a teaching resource. Dartfish also makes it easy to make measurements of angle, time, and distance. Directly from the video images. Now, teachers using the Pro Edition will have access to special effects tools, Simulcam and Stromotion. You may have already seen these in use, as a number of major broadcasters use Dartfish to enhance their sports coverage. Stromotion is similar to the key position idea, except that the positions of interest are frozen on the video image. Simulcam is an advanced form of video blend. The simple blend, found in the analyzer, works well with a fixed camera. But when the camera is moving, Comparison is less easy. Simulcam matches the background in each image to facilitate comparison. For anyone working with sports teams, or in fact anything requiring a longer recording, the issue of using video efficiently becomes about how to isolate moments of particular interest within the whole video. Tagging is the tool that does this, and it does so by using buttons that you define yourself, and you use these to mark the video to create an index. This index is a list of noteworthy things that have happened within this video file. And with my index, I can now conduct my team feedback. First of all, I enter play events mode. Then I decide how I want my events to play, either once or perhaps to repeat. I select my event. And what I will typically do now is go into full screen view and use the remote control to select events, play them, slow them down, and so on. Another common need is to extract from the game video the contribution made by individual pupils. Tagging has a player database. I select the players that are playing in this game, and that creates event buttons which I can use to again create an index of what each one of these players has been up to. Now, if my goal is to allow that player to analyse his performance, I can search for his events. And export them as video clips. This process will allow me to convert my videos to a more network-friendly file size and bit rate. And I can save them straight to a network folder or memory stick for access by the student. And the student can play back using either Windows Media Player or the Dartfish Classroom software for further analysis.